On this episode of Speed Academy, Joe does a bridge port on our irons. The quest for more power and to sound cool. Okay, Joe, before we get deeper into this, can we explain to our non rotary familiar fans what this port is about and how it gets its name? Of course. So the, the bridge port uh, is a, uh, a port that we cut um, beside the original uh, port and it creates a bridge where the corner seal and the side seal from the rotor uh, have a path to uh, sit on the, the surface. So we're essentially cutting a whole new uh, port um, and to let the air in at an earlier opening. Um, so that changes your timing a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, exactly. It changes your, uh, your intake port timing. Um, as the rotor comes around, um, imagine, imagine this being the face of the rotor. As it comes around, your bridge port has already opened up earlier than your uh, or original port. Right. So now that the, now that the, uh, the bridge port is open, um, your exhaust port is actually here. So your intake and your exhaust port are open at the exact same time. Um, which uh, gives it, you've got port overlap then. So the, uh, the, the boost air coming in would, is actually going to force more of the old uh, un, or burnt exhaust uh, gases out the exhaust. So once your, uh, your rotor's opened up this bridge port, air and fuel, air fuel mixture is gonna start coming into the combustion chamber. And as it continues along, now your main port opens up and now you get the full flow. Um, of, uh, of air fuel mixture coming into the combustion chamber. And then uh, as your rotor comes across, it closes off at the same time and it starts to compress into your compression stroke. So for you Honda guys, Bridgeport's just, that's basically your VTEC. That's all it is. It's VTEC. Pretty much. Or bigger cams for those yeah. V8 people. V8 guys, yeah. yeah. Yeah, bigger, lumpier cam. I was actually joking, but it kind of is like VTEC. Now that you guys know what Bridgeporting is, Joe actually just eyeballs everything. No, I'm just kidding. He actually uses these bridge porting templates. And uh, tell us, well, to start off, Joe has actually put a bit of scribing ink on there and use a template, scribe the lines, and that's where he's gonna go and uh, hopefully not make it into a paperweight. As you can see from these marks, that the ports are actually obviously a bit bigger, and then you can see where the just bridge port that is gonna out be cut. There. Yeah, gotcha. All right, Joe, so what do you cut those with? Okay, so the. The, we'll start with the bridge port. So what I'll do is we take I take this over to our uh, drill press. Yeah. Wow, there we go. So it's a bit like drilling a hole into wood or something to start the opening and then do you go by hand from there? Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll go along now and uh, I'll, uh, I'll probably drill like about five or six holes side by side okay. to try to get rid of as much material as possible. It just yep. decreases the time of uh, needing to, with a, with a hand die grinder. Right. Um, so the more material I can remove with the drill bit, um, the, the easier the porting will be afterwards. So, so yeah, we're just gonna put, a bunch, more, put okay. a bunch more holes in there and then, yep. uh, and then we'll connect the dots more or less. All right, keep drilling. All right, cool. It doesn't seem crazy hard to drill through it, does it? No, it's pretty, pretty easy. This, uh, this particular, these particular irons have been uh, uh, lapped, so the nitride coating from factory has actually been taken off. So it's pretty easy to start the drill bit, and it also helps. This is a brand new, very sharp drill bit. So. Right. Um, and I guess you're going to re-nitride these once you're done. Yes, exactly. So after the porting's all done, then we'll send it out for nitriding and, uh, and get the, the surface hardness back again. Right. Joe's drilled out that bridge port area, Swiss cheese as he calls it, and uh, I guess now you're going to connect the dots, right? Yes. Turn it into white with one nice smooth port. Exactly. An eyebrow as sometimes people call them. Yep. And I think you probably can figure out why people call it that. Do people call it eyebrows? If mm -hmm. you can't figure that out, get off the internet. <laughs> or go on the internet and Google it. And that's true. Well, if you don't know what an eyebrow is, you shouldn't really know how to use the internet anyway. <laughs> So uh, 
uh, Joe, did I see you uh, nick one of those uh, bridge ports a little bit? Just a little bit at the, the start there. When I initially started in, I'm not sure if you can see that on the video, but you see that little triangle nick. Mm -hmm. The end of the, the pencil die grinder came out and just ticked the, uh, the, the edge, there, the edge yeah. and that's your wear surface. Well, in this case, it wouldn't actually be a, a wear surface. None of the corner seals or side seals will, will touch that. Okay. But um, I, I've, I've measured out these... Uh, bridge ports, the the, the lines here, yep. um, very conservatively. They're very. It's a very small bridge port right now. Um, I do that so that I do have the room to fix mistakes like this. Okay. Uh, so I try to keep within these two lines mm -hmm. um, all the way down. I'll get the length and the shape of the port um, as best I can uh, initially. And then after the, 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 the length and the shape is, is good on all, all three irons, mm -hmm. then I'll go back and rescribe and do a final pass and, and open up the, the final, um, I guess, final shape, final shape, shape yeah. of the port um, gotcha. afterwards. So I still have room to go to go inwards this way mm -hmm. and also room to go outwards that way. So if there is any mistakes, a little nick like that um, it happened on the inside where, where a corner seal or a side seal is going to wear, um, I've got room to, to at least get rid of it. Smooth it out. Smooth right? it out, yeah. And maybe we should explain too that you're using these racing beat uh, yeah, I, templates. So I, I, I kind of like measuring out these, uh, these bridge ports are very easy to do, but yeah, I have this old school, uh, it's actually a, a porting template for a, a second gen RX-7 FC um, engine. Yeah. Um, just using it as a guideline more or less as to the, the width of the, the bridge port. Yeah. Um, not so much the length. I'd like to, I'd, I'd like to make the, these bridge ports as long as the main port. Right. So once we port the, uh, maybe that's what we'll do next is I'll port the, uh, the main port out with the bigger die grinder. Gotcha. Okay. Nothing, so there's your your basic shape now the line that's here is the the opening of the the port so I'm not sure I want to take it completely right out to that uh, to that line that I have scribed there. That's actually the line for an aggressive uh, street port. Considering we're going bridge port, we don't really need to get aggressive with the opening of the main port. Right. Um, considering we have this additional port that we're putting in here to, to flow the air. So. Um, and and as far as like the the angle of this. Mm -hmm. area that you've ported? Is that just based on experience or are there guidelines that come with the template? Uh, yeah, sort of. I'm not sure if you can actually see inside, but if you can look back in, in there, there's actually a water jacket. If you just brought the intake port, the closing time, uh, the, the closing uh, edge straight down the way they are from factory, you'd be right into your, uh, your water jacket. I got so you. you actually have to curve it around that water jacket. I see. And it's always nice to have a, a closing edge, um, like a, a nice leading, um, mm -hmm. uh, leading up to it, you know, not sure. an, an abrupt stop where yeah. uh, any of the seals going past are going to be uh, yeah, getting caught or anything. Yeah, turbulence and stuff too, right? Yeah. Well, that is main port complete, is that right, Joe? Uh, not complete, but uh, a pretty good start. Um, the, the, the main shape of it is there. I think I, I'd be pretty happy with that shape. Now just uh, clean up the bevel, like uh, the edges, the closing the closing uh, uh, edge here. I'd probably take some 120 grit sandpaper and just kind of give it a nice nice smooth edge yep. for, the, for the seals to come across. And, uh, and are you going to open up the eyebrow some more? Uh, yeah, definitely. The, the bridge port itself um, was just an initial cut. And uh, I'm going to bring the bridge port up to match the closing time of, of the, uh, the opening, mm -hmm. uh, the main opening. So that will, will get extended up further. The bottom will probably come down a little bit more as well to match up with that. Right. And then we'll probably take it uh, out further towards the water jacket and uh, probably just a little tiny bit more in towards the, uh, the main port. Okay. Well, you can see the difference in size already. That's, you know, that's the ported one and this is the non-ported one. And it's, let's get them both in frame there and you can see it's gotten significantly larger. So I, I've uh, brought the top of the bridge port up to the level with the top of the closing portion of the main port. Yep. Um, 
still a lot of work needs to be done on the actual shape, uh, the width, the width of it, um, yeah. and then just a little bit more on the closing portion. We'll bring it right down just a little bit more in line with the bottom of that. But I'm going to keep pretty con conservative with it. I'm not going to go like way out into the water jacket. We're doing a full bridge in this motor, so. To go huge with the bridge port is it's just going to make the car, the, the engine unreliable, harder to tune and whatever else. So we'll, we'll keep it nice and simple. Well, what do you say we, uh, we call this a wrap? Yeah. Is that uh, enough porting for one day? For enough porting for one day. There's uh, many more hours left to do. I'll see you guys back here when I'm done. We'll bring you some housings. That'd be good. And what's the next step? The next step will be we'll send these for uh, nitriding. Woo woo! Nitriding. They'll okay. be heat, heat treated and uh, hardened and uh, ready for ready for assembly. Look at his like. Hey man, if he if he marks them up, since they're his irons. You're done. You're tapping out. Yeah, tapping out. There you go. That's all I needed. Oh. Now we're making all the horsepower. Comedy stylings of Ken Wagon. I would drop everybody. that for a second, but I wasn't gonna mic drop that. <laughs> Still needs other housing. A road uh, irons. Stop calling them housings.